Morning guys, Mark Farash and my Ravens. So I went out this morning and they're hanging out heavy this morning. A lot of them here today. And uh, as soon as I come, come start pointing the camera at them, they all took off. It's, it's instinctive, I guess, over the years of people pointing things at them and shooting them and all that. But they really have a that wild aspect of staying away from man and it's how they survive. So just a second ago, I pointed this at them, and they just flow, and then, then they're all back now, coming back, because my voice, they're getting a little more and more used to it, you know? But I want to keep up this trying to point a camera at them type of routine, and I could probably set up uh, instant cameras on the, the gates and stuff and really get a good look at this. It'd be kind of cool. But as usual, it's a matter of putting myself into doing the dealing with the technology and, and doing all this. It just kind of takes me away from my dogs and what I really love to do. So... And then I always have the tendency to find the time to yak to you guys. So I don't know. I got a real good story today about um, what my day was like yesterday talking to a gentleman that I didn't know who he was and found him online. And he's very well known in, in a lot of different literature he's put out in the law enforcement area. He's on the law enforcement cir circuit and does a lot of the law enforcement uh, uh, consulting and that kind of thing that these guys get into. He's a scientist. We'll talk about that a little bit later today and how that went down, and hopefully maybe I can grow a relationship with him a little better. It all started from my little uh, thing with uh, Arrow, my series on Arrow. So we'll talk about it, the rank dominance. It's a neat subject, and it perks these guys' interest because this is the sort of thing. It, it's rare. You know, rank dominance is a rare thing, and it's a cool thing to be able to sit here and really talk about and get into that subject because it is rare, and, I, and there's a lot of factors that cause it, you know. Why does a dog get to a point where he doesn't want to be dominated? And what is it going on in the dog's heads? How much is genetic? How much is um, nature versus nur nurture? You know what I'm saying? This is them getting skittish because I'm pointing this camera. I'll talk to you guys later. We're going to do a little yak session here a little bit later. Have a good day, guys. Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training, up in the high desert. Bye-bye.